Hey guys, Classy Jade, and I'm excited because I finally got my next DIY room decor video finished, so yay! Um, right now I am showing you guys, these are pictures of what I am going to be creating in the video. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> nine, um, wall decor things that I'm going to be making in this video and so I hope you guys enjoy. first one's super simple. Um, I have this painting that I did a while back and I'm just giving it a little update. I no longer like the blue behind the daisies so I'm just painting gray around it and I don't I didn't video me doing all the painting um, because I don't know my camera ran out of battery or something but I just painted over but left the daisies. I wanted the original idea of the daisies but I just want a different color. So here it is, just gray, uh, purple, and white. Very simple. This next one, I also had an old painting that I don't really care about anymore, so I just primed it with gesso. My original idea was to actually do a different painting on top of this, but plans changed. So I just primed it. And then I tried to go pink, and I tried some other designs, but just rolled them out. I didn't really like them. But then I got my glitter and just started putting that all over the canvas, and I liked it a lot. I thought some glitter would look nice on my wall. And here's the end result. Really simple. You just need a canvas, some glue or paint, and some glitter. And I just used things that I already had that I didn't care about anymore. So it was really simple and easy and it, it looked cute on my wall. So this next one is one of my favorites. Right now I'm just cutting a big piece of paper that I'm going to be putting into my frame. Um, and. These elephants I got from Pinterest and I'm cutting them out and they're going to be my templates for because uh, I want to cut out elephants from magazines so I'm just cutting these out and then I'm going to trace them over cool pictures that I found in magazines for my elephants. So I cut out more elephants from National Geographic magazines, like cool like, landscape pictures, or I got some, I cut some out from just regular paper and painted them, but I cut out eight in total, and yeah, so after I got that done, I taped my piece of paper that I previously cut out onto the cardboard backing for the frame to make sure that it was secure. So as you can see, I cut out a variety of different elephants that have different colors. Some have glitter. Some of them, I think two of them actually put nail polish on to give them a shine. Um, the one, one of them I did change. The one that is book text uh, on the left, the second one down from the left, because it just blended into the white too much, so I actually painted it pink, as you'll see in the picture. But yeah, I'm just taping these down. They don't need to be uh, glued down super secure because the glass is going to go over it anyway, but it's just making sure that they will not fall off. And then I just put it in the frame and it turned out real nice. For this next one, I am again painting over a painting. I painted this 
a couple years back in painting class and I really don't care about it but I wanted to use the canvas so I just <clears throat> got some white oil paint and and priming the surface I would have loved to use acrylic over this canvas but I can't because the painting was painted with oil paints and you can't put acrylic over oil or the acrylic will eventually peel off so I'm just using white to cover the canvas and I'm using a lot but I don't really mind because I have so much white oil paint so then I decided that I wanted to put words on my canvas so I put fear not from my favorite scripture verse from Isaiah 41:10, and I just thought that was a good reminder something that's good to have on my wall to remind me not to fear and I really like how it came out um, I think it looks really cool and I just I like it a lot and I am sorry I did not um, uh, record me doing this whole painting and a couple of the others just because I can I kept forgetting to turn on my camera I did a lot of these in one night and I just I just kept forgetting to turn on the camera and then I'd be like, ah, why did I turn it on? I missed half of it. <laughs> but what you gonna do? So this next one's really easy. All you need is a canvas or cardboard or whatever you want. Put masking tape over the canvas and then you spray paint or just paint um, on top of it and then take the masking tape off and you can create cool designs with this but I just wanted these stripes really simple and I used a gold spray paint and I peeled off the masking tape before it dried just to make sure that the masking tape didn't like adhere to my canvas and make it difficult to take off So for this next one, I found a cool picture of a mirror on Pinterest and I like the geometric design so I traced it out um, and then I put a thin coat of white paint on it. I don't really remember why but I must have had a good reason and then I just went over my pencil lines with some black paint to define them better. that was it for that one pretty easy and I think it looks pretty cool pretty cool geometric design so this next one's kind of weird but also kind of fun I for this one I first started off by creating this uh, frame look for my canvas well actually it's not a canvas I think it's called a panel so that's what I started off doing and I actually ended up painting the frame gray just because I felt like there was so much I had a lot of gold on my wall already that I needed some contrast so I ended up painting it gray but so that's what I started off by doing and then I just got some different um, lipsticks and put it on my lips and started kissing my <laughs> my panel and I wanted to do my lipstick marks in rows looking really neat but I messed up so they're just kind of like all over the canvas but I actually liked how it looked it's different not what I was going for but I like it so this next one is again a painting that I don't care about and I have some dollar store wallpaper here that I thought was really cute so I am just going to cover the canvas with this. And it does have an adhesive back like tape but um, I just wanted to hot glue it on. Uh, I, I thought if I took off the backing of it, you might see the painting through the wallpaper, so I just didn't want to risk it. I just got my hot glue gun and, and glued it down.
that's it for this one. It's really easy, really simple. Um, and you can do this with anything. You can do it with wrapping paper or anything. It's uh, really easy. So this next one, I didn't video me doing very much of it, I'm sorry, and it's also blurry. But what I did is I just created this, um, I think it's called a chevron arrow. Well, this arrow, um, I made this arrow template and then I just traced it onto some mat board and cut out five of them. I spray painted them with white paint and then put them on my wall. Also very easy to do. saved my favorite for last. Um, right now I am just painting this piece of board that's going to go into my frame with some white paint and then I just wrote don't worry in a pretty font that I found online and I'm just going um, inside the lines that I drew <laughs> with some black paint and a very thin brush. I really like this one because not only is it like a cool font and, and I think it looks nice on my wall, it's a really good reminder for me because I worry about everything and I wanted something on my wall that was a good thing to like look at every day and you know a good reminder. So that wraps up my DIY wall decor. I am sorry that it took me so long to get another DIY room decor video up, but I have just I've been working on other projects and these these DIY projects take time. And I know that I said that I would on, I would only have all these DIY things in like two videos, but there are just too many projects to have them all in one. And I thought that I would split them up like wall decor um, like random DIY things for your room, so I'm just gonna split them up into a bunch of videos because it's just too much to have in only one. So yeah, here are some of the uh, wall decor things that I made on my wall. And the elephants that I like a lot. I think they're so cute. And then my favorite, the don't worry, um, picture <laughs> or quote that I painted. So thanks you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!